Hundreds of people in Roanoke will soon be out of a job. Freight Car America will close later again this year. 10 News reporter Coulter Anstat spoke with employees. So Coulter, what did uh, they have to say about this closure? Lindsay, I spoke to the president of the union that represents the employees there at the plant. He says he and the union's legal advisor were called into a meeting with corporate representatives around 9 o'clock this morning at the facility and given the bad news. He says around 150 people work at the facility here in uh, Roanoke. According to the state mandated notice, companies have to give localities ahead of a large layoff or closure like this. All employees will be laid off by November 11th. The notice says a quote, initial group of affected employees, end quote, will be laid off on or about September 20th. How many employees will be in that group is unclear. Freight Car America closed in February of 2017, then reopened in May of last year. This time, though, the union president says the closure is permanent. He says the reason for the closure is the Roanoke facility, unlike the company's state-of-the-art facility in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, can't build all of the types of cars that the company needs to produce. And a lot of the employees here are now concerned about their livelihood. With the way work has been, no overtime this year, so to speak of, um, things have been a little, a little bleak for us, but I mean, you know, we've been getting by. Coming up tonight on 10 News at 6, hear how much of an impact Roanoke's interim economic development director expects this closure to have and how the city will move forward. Live in Roanoke, Coulter and Staff 10 News, working for you.